Welcome to iWeb09. With iWeb, creating a website is easy. Once you launch iWeb, you'll see a template chooser where you can see the variety of great-looking Apple Design themes for your website. And each theme has multiple page templates, such as a welcome page, an about me page, and even a blog. Once you find a theme that you like, just choose the first page that you want to create. Let's choose a welcome page to start our website. Just select it and then click Choose. iWeb creates the page with placeholder text and images, which you can easily personalize to make it your own. To enter your own title, just double click on the placeholder text and start typing. You do the same for text boxes. Just double click and type in your own text. To add your own photos, click Photos in the Media Browser. Here you can see your photos from iPhoto. You can skim your events and double-click to see the photos inside the event. Once you find the photo that you want to add to your site, just drag it from the Media Browser to the placeholder image on the web page. Your photos will be automatically resized to fit the template perfectly, so your web pages always look great. You can easily customize your web page even further. To move text boxes, just select them and then click and drag to move them. Delete objects you don't want by selecting them and hitting the Delete key on your keyboard. And you can move photos around, as well as resize them, by dragging on the size handles. You can even rotate a photo by holding the Command key and dragging the corner. To add a picture frame to a photo, select the Inspector and then choose Picture Frame from the Stroke menu and select a frame style. To create another page for your website, just click the Add Page button. We'll choose a blank page so we can work from scratch. As you add pages to your site, iWeb automatically adds links to the navbar for your site. When you change the name of a page, your navbar is automatically updated to the new name. Just like other pages, simply double-click text to change it to your own. If you want to add a text box, just click the Text Box button and iWeb will add a text box to your page. The text box, as well as other elements, can be moved around your page by selecting them and then dragging them where you want them. Adding more photos is easy. Just drag them in. Photos that you add can easily be resized by dragging the size handles on the sides. As you move your objects around the page, alignment guides pop up to help you keep all your objects in perfect alignment with each other. A great way to make your site more engaging is to add dynamic content using a web widget. When you click Widgets, you can see all the cool widgets to choose from, like an interactive mobile me gallery, a YouTube video, a Google AdSense ad, and a Google Map. To add a widget, just drag it to your page and drop it where you want it. You can resize the widget just like other elements. On this Google Map, you can enter the address that you want your visitors to see. And when you click Apply, you'll see the map exactly how your visitors will see it. You can even alter how your map looks to your visitors when they see it on your site such as turning off the address bubble and adjusting the default zoom level and positioning of the map. Once you're happy with your website, it's time to publish it to the web. When you select your site in the sidebar, you can choose how you want to publish it, to MobileMe or to another server using the built-in FTP client. Once you choose how to publish your site, all it takes is a click of a button and you're live on the internet. With iWeb, you'll be on the web with a great looking site in no time.